All right, setting up your Facebook Live. Well, you can certainly go live anytime you feel like it with no preparation at all. And sometimes I do if, if I got to get an immediate message out or if I see something that happens spontaneously. Let's say I was out at, down at the beach and I saw some cool thing. I might go live spontaneously. But if you want to get the most people there, you want to do some things to promote the event. And I have been calling it an event. See, that's one of the terms Facebook uses. So you should set your live stream up as an event where you describe it, you put in a graphic that describes it. But the best part is you can invite people to the event right through Facebook. Make sure you do this. And in the beginning, try to only invite people you feel will really show up. See, if you invite 100 people and only one shows even interest in it, Facebook will maybe next time only let you invite 50 people. See, so, so once you get a good track record of show ups, a high percentage of show ups, you can expand more to inviting people you don't quite recognize that are on your friends list and expand out. But in the beginning, make sure you get as uh, the highest percentage of people showing up as you can. So one of the things I do is I send out an email. You can put it out if you have a chatbot list. You know, and you, a lot of you have chatbots. See, Facebook gives you a link you can send out that takes people directly to the event. I mean, call up even some of your closest friends and ask them to attend. So you want to get people there, especially in the beginning, you want a high percentage. But this doesn't mean you can just uh, next time invite a thousand people and only two show up because then you're going to go right back to the beginning in Facebook's eyes again. All right, I mentioned some of these aftermarket services that allow you to do a bunch of cool things. Now, a free one is called OBS. 